And this is in the INX Media case. CBI is set to question Indrani Mukherjee, who's an approver in the INX Media case, inside the Baikula jail in Mumbai today. Yesterday, a special CBI court had allowed the agency's plea for questioning her in connection with the case. And today, we're getting uh, the update that the questioning will happen inside the Baikula jail today. P. Chidambaram is in Tihar jail, uh, sent to custody, judicial custody, after CBI interrogated him. Uh, Radhika Ramaswamy joining us. Radhika, uh, is there any indication that Mr. Chidambaram's interrogation by CBI based on what he has said. CBI is back at Baikula Jail to get more clarifications from Indrani? Yes, uh, that, that's the possibility. The so CBI, in fact, on Monday had sought the court's permission, the CBI court's permission to question Indrani Mukherjee. Remember, she's lodged in Baikula Jail. She's under judicial custody uh, in the Sheena Bora murder case. Uh, the CBI, in fact, in its application yesterday had said that they want clarity on certain financial transactions as part of this uh, INEC media case. Of course, this comes after the entire questioning uh, uh, questioning of P.C. Damram happened under the CBI custody after which he's been sent to judicial custody. Now, of course, they want some clarity from Indrani Mukherjee as well. Um, yesterday, of course, special CBI judge permitted the CBI to question Indrani Mukherjee inside Baikla prison, uh, where she's lodged currently. And uh, she will be mostly questioned any time uh, post 11.30. And uh, between 11.30 and 12.30 is what we are hearing. So in the next one hour is when the questioning will happen. That's the permission that the court has given yesterday um, as far as uh, Indrani Mukherjee's question is concerned. Of course, we know that she's an approver in the case. She had recorded her statement against Chidambaram and his son, Karthi, and that has become very crucial um, to uh, approve uh, Chidambaram and his son's role is concerned for the CBI. Therefore, what they have said in that particular application yesterday is that they want clarity on certain financial transactions as part of this particular case, and which is why this questioning is going to take place inside the Baikla prison mm. in the next one hour. So in the next one hour or so, you're saying the CBI team will reach there. Is there any clarity how much long, you know, what is the timeline that they're looking at? How much time do, you want, they, do they want to spend with Indrani today while uh, they seek more clarifications from her? Uh, well, they have sought uh, a couple of hours with Indrani Mukherjee, at least two to three hours is what... Uh, uh, you know, they had sought yesterday in that particular application. Mm. And what we are hearing is that the CBI team will reach any time post 11 o'clock, which means sometime around 11.30 is when they are likely to reach by club prison. Mm. Remember, this uh, has happened in the past as well, when the FIR was registered uh, before the registration of charge sheet. Uh, also, uh, the CBI had sought permission of this particular court to question Indrani as well as Peter Mukherjee on many occasions. Mm. But this is the first time after Chidambaram's arrest that once again an application has been put forth and uh, the court also granted permission for the CBI to question. So definitely this comes after the entire questioning of P. Chidambaram happened in Delhi. Uh, so definitely this has got to do with the statement made by Chidambaram. So most likely it could be uh, the, you know, verification and confirmation of what Chidambaram has said because this is the first time that Indrani is being questioned by CBI after the arrest of P. Chidambaram in the INX media case. And, and does the application also give any indication if there are any specifics that we know of what the CBI team wants to ask Indrani Mukherjee, what is it that Chidambaram has told them for which they need further clarification? Uh, well, uh, the only uh, 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 clarity we have is that which they said before the court as well. The CBI had made this application before the CBI court in which they said that they want more clarity on certain financial transactions as part of this particular case. Hmm. That's the sentence they've used and it's just a small application that they had made before the court. And since uh, similar applications had been made in the past as well, uh, the court uh, did not have any hesitation in uh, uh, allowing the CBI team. This is anyway procedural because he's she is being tried in a different case. Therefore, it is imperative for CBI to seek the permission of this court as well uh, so that they can go into Baikla prison and question her. So the only thing that they've sought uh, or they've said is that they want clarity on certain financial transactions as part of the corruption case. And since this comes uh, right after uh, P. Chidambaram was questioned under the CBI custody, it could be pertaining to what he has said before the CPI. Uh, some sort of confirmation or re-verification of what Chidambaram has said is what we're expecting. Radhika, stay on. Ashish Mehrishi tracks the Enforcement Directorate for, for us, tracking this case very closely. Ashish, clarity on financial transaction is what the CPI has uh, told the court in the application to question Indrani Mukherjee. Do we know anything about what Mr. Chidambaram has told the CBI? What financial clarity in particular is the CBI seeking from Indrani Mukherjee? 
Well, in fact, in the INX media case, it's almost clear if you see there are around seven hundred thousand dollars that have been paid by none other than uh, the company INX Media, hmm. and those com- those payments have actually reached into at least three companies. That is what even the attachment order of the enforcement director says, and those companies have been very close to Karthi and and P Chidambaram. So. Uh, and after that, you know, the uh, the owners and the shareholders of and the directors of the company have given, uh, uh, you know, a will which very clearly transfers uh, all the ownership of these companies to none other than the daughter in uh, the daughter of Karthi and the uh, you know and the granddaughter of Pichidambaram. Hmm. So certainly there is there is enough money trails that they have in their possession. Uh, but interestingly, uh, to I uh, still have to understand what what they are going to portion because she has already given a section 164 statement right. where she has where she has already confessed about uh, the 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 money trail. She has already told on how uh, they, she along with uh, Peter Mukherjee met uh, Pichidambaram uh, in North Block. She had also told about. Uh, the meeting that she had uh, with uh, Karthi Chidambaram in Hayat Regency in Delhi. Right. Uh, she uh, had also given details of, uh, about, uh, you know, the money being asked by Karthi Chidambaram for around $1 billion. So all these details have been given by uh, Rani Mukherjee. So uh, to my understanding, whatever has been questioned by P. Chidam, uh, uh, by CBI, uh, uh, you know, when P. Chidambaram was in custody, they would like to basically know, uh, they would like to see... Uh, you know whatever P. Chidambaram has said, how they have, how he has denied all the allegations against him, and then they would like to meet uh, and question uh, Indrani Mukherjee to find out, uh, you know, to counter P. Chidambaram's uh, whatever he would have said before uh, the the uh, you know Central Bureau of Investigation during the custody. Uh, Ashish, there were some reports to suggest that Indrani, in her 164, when she turned approver, she actually said that the actual transaction of sending the money uh, was done by her husband Peter Mukherjee. Uh, so, do you get a sense that on that point, uh, CBI is wanting further clarity to try and gather more information from her because Peter Mukherjee has not turned approver, as far as I know. So Peter Mukherjee has basically given a statement under Section 50 of PMLA, hmm. which is as good as evidence in the court of law. So hmm. in those, uh, if you go through that statement, which is again a part of the attachment order, 131-page uh, attachment order by the enforcement directorate, it very clearly says that he met P. Chidamram, he met Karthi, there was a $1 million deal for getting FIPB clearance. Hmm. So all these details are there. And obviously the company has made uh, payments. The CFO has given this, uh, the, the chief financial officer of the organization, INX Media, he's also given a statement under Section 50 PMLA. Right. So all that is available with them. So to my understanding, the only thing that CBI would be looking forward is because P. Chidambaram would have denied all the allegations. So uh, they would like, they would have, uh, you know, wanted to meet uh, and discuss with uh, Indrani Mukherjee. They hmm. would like to question her on, uh, you know, on his denial. So whatever he have, he would have denied on, they would be looking forward for more, uh, you know, concrete evidence. Yes. Or, yeah, they would be looking forward for more concrete information and evidence. That is all. Right, Ashish. Thanks so much for joining us around 11.30. It's expected that the CBI team will reach Baikala Jail. Radhika Ramaswamy, uh, thank you for being